Hello everyone, welcome back to the second part where I will explain how to add motion to our scene. In the first video, I have shown how I created the character and the environment in Blender. If you haven't checked it yet, go and watch that first to see how all these models were made. Alright, before we begin, I'm gonna need you to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell next to it to support me because I make video every week for you guys. Done? Okay, let's go. The first thing we're gonna do is setting up the camera. To create the handheld effect, we're gonna need one camera and two empty. Parent the camera to the first empty, then parent the second empty to the camera. The first empty will be used to move the camera like a cameraman. And the second will be used to animate the depth of field easily. Now, we can animate the camera movement. For this, I use a simple white to close up shot. This is because I wanted to show all the detail in our scene first. Then, we get close to our character to complete the shot. Next, to add a human touch, we're going to add some shaky shaky to the camera. Select the camera, add one keyframe, then open the graph editor and add noise modifier. Adjust the parameter and now you got yourself a shaky camera. Done. Alright, depth of field. For EV, it is very easy to get this effect. Go to the camera tab, tick the depth of field, assign the empty as the focus object and now you can change the depth of field by just moving the empty. Where the empty at, there will be the focus point of the camera. Now just animate it so we can get this in and out focus effect. Voila! Very very easy. Next, let's make the hair go flowy. This is a fairly easy trick if you use curve as your hair object. Don't convert it to mesh, we're going to animate the shape key of the curve. On the curve tab, go to the shape key, add a base key, add another key. You can add more to add more variation but for me, one is more than enough. Now, change the hair, make it swing right or left. Now, just animate the value and you get yourself a flowing hair. Done. Next, the most random part of this process. Cloth simulation. Let's go. First, add a pin group to your mesh, then go to the physics tab and add the cloth modifier. Assign the pin, add a wind, animate the wind, and now you got yourself a flowing cloth. Make to save your PC from becoming a stove. Oh, one more. For this flying poster, just don't add any pin group to them. Let them fly. But make sure to set the pavement as a collider. And lastly, the pedestrian. If you watched my last video, which you should watch, I used some mocap data to animate my character. But now he only walk at one place. Look at him. He looks so stupid. Add an empty, pair on the character to the empty, then animate the empty right to left. Make sure to change the interpolation to linear so the acceleration will stay the same. Done. Now our animation is complete. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me. I'm so close to 500 sub. I post new video like this every week. So if you don't want to miss, hit the subscribe button now. Lastly, check out my Patreon page if you want to keep supporting me and got free stuff like this two character pack. See ya.